Well, 2012 is a leap year. There's an extra day this February, making it the perfect time to talk frogs. Giant Mountain Zoo continues its involvement with the Panama Amphibian Rescue and Conservation Project, which is leaping, I love all these puns here, to rescue a species on the verge of extinction. And Dr. Della Garel just returned from another trip to Panama and is here to give us an update on what they're doing. Good morning. Hi. We're, we're going to get to this guy in just a little bit, but why are frogs disappearing, you know, and what is the zoo doing to, to help make yeah. a difference? People don't really realize that frogs are disappearing because they're not easy to see, but in fact, a half to one third of all all amphibians on the whole planet are disappearing, huh. mostly due to habitat, but also due to this special fungus that affects only amphibians, so frogs, newts, salamanders, that sort of thing. Um, and it's spreading around the globe. It's here in this country. It's on every continent except Antarctica. Wow, so what's the zoo doing? What's your involvement? Well, there are a couple places in Central America, in Panama, that the chytrid fungus has not reached yet. Okay. And so what we're trying to do is go there, rescue the frogs, because we know before that the chytrid's it, coming before, it hits, yeah. before the flood, and put them in an ARC, a shipping container pod down in Panama okay. to save them, protect them from the kitchen, and work on a cure so we can then release them someday back We're to the wild. We're seeing some pictures. What is this? These are these pods. Tell yes. us what this is. This was um, part of your last expedition. Yeah, Maersk uh, Shipping uh, Company has donated shipping containers. This is, you know, Panama Canal. You have millions right, of these right. going through. And we've uh, transformed it into a isolation pod. Well, so that's inside. This is inside the pod, very packed with frogs. Huh. And so part of this... Uh, trip to Panama was to um, strategic plan with another group because we're going to be adding more pods. And the more pods we have, the more frogs we can save. Um, and then we are moving these to the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute. And so we're going to have seven of these pods wow. filled with frogs trying to save them before the chytrid comes through causes their extinction for sure. They're only, these frogs only exist in small areas in Panama. And in, I think we have planet. an example that we can put up on the screen of, of what they look like, right? Of mm -hmm. Some of the specimens, if you will. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, this is an Adelopus glyphus, one of the small ones. And of course, it's important not just to rescue them, but it may take a while to breed them, to keep um, them in captivity before we can release them. So we need to breed them, make sure that we can maintain them in captivity. So these are two uh, species now that we have have bred in captivity in Panama with our partners in Panama. Wow. First time ever in the world. That's huge. It is huge. So let's talk about why it is important. Why, why we want to save them. Why frogs? Why, yeah, why frogs? Well, obviously, they and you brought eat, this friend here. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> is an Amer example. American bullfrog eats lots of insects. So mosquitoes are definitely important for human uh, disease control. Uh -huh. Also, they eat agricultural pests and insects like that. So they're an important part of the food chain. Also, they are food. Their tadpoles and even adults are food for larger animals so they're a key link in the chain all right and we're showing right here on our screen how we can help we can do little things ourselves here in Southern Colorado, right? that can make a difference. Right, something that you might not think about that might harm frogs. So using pesticides in your lawn, try to go organic, use, use them very carefully, don't let them go into waterways. Right. Um, also for medications, people don't realize this, it used to be you should flush them. Right, well, right. don't, don't put them in the waterway, don't put them down the drain, either take them to the household hazardous waste facility, or you can mix them with like a kitty litter or, or um, coffee grounds, huh. and put them in your regular trash so they're Serious. sealed and they don't get into the waterway that way. And then there's Frog Watch. Frog Watch. If you want to know more about frogs and help be a citizen scientist, <laughs> you can go to aza.org slash frog watch okay. and join a local group that is watching and monitoring frogs to see how our local uh, animals are doing. And I know you're doing a, a lot of blogging when you're on these trips, too, and you've got a lot of information on your expeditions on the zoo's website, cmzoo.org. Citizen scientist, is that what you said? You can be a citizen scientist. I like that. <laughs> I think I want to do that. Learn how. All right, thanks frog for watch. the update. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Let's check the forecast.